You want to hear a statement that makes zero sense? Conservatism is the new punk rock. This statement, along with others that push conservative ideology as the new counterculture, is one of the more recent attempts of conservatives desperately trying to make themselves seem like they're the out-of-the-box thinkers. Now granted, it's understandable why they feel this way. The entertainment industry, most news media outlets, and big-name corporations love to paint themselves with a liberal flag. So, since being liberal appears to be the norm nowadays, that makes conservatives the ones going against the grain, right? Well, sure, but only if you allow yourself to believe that you can only be a liberal or conservative. Fame linguistic and leftist author Noam Chomsky said it best, the smart way to keep people passive and obedient is to strictly limit the spectrum of acceptable opinion, but allow very lively debate within that spectrum. Since most political discussions are locked inside the confines of two sides, we end up trapping ourselves inside a tiny overton window without even realizing it. Once you break out of this small space though, what you'll come to find is that there is no true counterculture between the spectrum of regressive conservatism and performative liberal activism. Both these political ideologies have one trait in common. They are both dedicated to upholding the status quo economic systems that, funnily enough, hurt their ideologies. On one hand, global capitalism outsources jobs to countries where labor is cheaper and more easily exploited, which contradicts conservatism's so-called concern for domestic citizens and domestic jobs. On the other hand, Capitalism also wreaks havoc on the marginalized communities that liberals claim to fight so adamantly for. Really, punk is the chase for new ideas that breaks away from the status quo. This means breaking away from the constrictive conversations of today so we can make room for ideas whose goals are to empower both the working class and marginalized groups. Because there's nothing punk rock about defending an exploitative system that's been around for the last 300 years. Thanks for watching.